Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, I want to show you Padlet Mini, which is a new Chrome extension that comes from Padlet. So I'm going to go ahead and click the free button to get started. Let's add it to my installation of Chrome. We can see Padlet Mini has been added to Chrome. And we now have that new little bookmarklet icon. Now let's say I'm viewing a web page like this article from Open Culture about the video, What Does the Spleen Do? I'm going to go ahead and click the Post to Padlet button. And we can add our bookmark to any of the walls we already have created in Padlet. You do have to have a Padlet account. Or you can create a new one. Let's create a new one here. We'll call it our group bookmarks. And the extension gives you by default two options, either private or public, with anyone being able to access and read. Or you can go to create, add, and take me to advanced settings. Let's try that one. So this is going to create a brand new Padlet wall in my Padlet account. And we can see it grabbed a little image of the page and the link. Now let's also try it with a video. I found a video on YouTube that I like. Let me go ahead and post it to group bookmarks. And now let's view that. And you can see here we have the video and our previous page. And of course, in Padlet, you can drag and drop and move things around. If you go into your modify wall, you can give a little description of the page. You can also change the privacy settings. We can go from a hidden link with anyone being able to write. We can say it's a password protected wall and put in a password that your students have to use in order to add bookmarks to the wall. I'll go back to hidden. We can also change our layout. If the freeform nature of Padlet doesn't work for you or your students, you can go to the stream format and everything will appear in a chronological order until you rearrange them. So that's Padlet Mini. Nice little tool for bookmarking and sharing bookmarks.